Huh? Oh, I thought you had a stupid intro. I do. You want to see one of the ones I have? Um, let's see. Hello? Uh, oh, yeah, here it is. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's of Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more <laughs> juicy content. <laughs> Thanks to our Patreon, follow us Twitter account, subscribe if you need the like button. Kill that son of a bitch. Uh, Iga. Ah! You must die. VJ has come back to life you as a fly. Die. You <laughs> land on poop. You will not land on me. Stupid. Gonna, gonna upstage us this whole thing. Dang it, Iga. Gonna, uh, <laughs> I will kill again. Today we're doing a movie review. Of the... Hold on. Sorry for anybody watching this who might be Jane. They don't kill things. Oh, okay. I, I genuinely mean that. I'm serious. Well, we, we haven't killed anything yet. No, we haven't. Except but... the internet. <laughs> and that intro. <laughs> and the, this review. The 2006 film uh dawn uh which is obviously the remake of the uh 1978 amatag bakshan film which we just reviewed last week so yep. if you haven't watched that review go watch that one so we're doing them subsequently and so obviously we reviewing the shah Rukh khan uh farhan akhtar and then after after this we will watch dawn 2 yes and then whenever dawn 3 comes out we will watch that we will watch that, that as that well ever comes out who knows but yes uh, 2006 dawn uh directed by farhan akhtar and uh, also think, written by right uh i think partially written as yeah. well and produced yeah. as well um because his dad i believe either director wrote the first one oh, oh little, i didn't know that there's a little connection there i forget which one it was but obviously starring uh the one the only uh shah Rukh on uh, and Priyanka Chopra, uh, and uh, Bowman Arani, and Om Pori. Yeah, very, not, not a lot of Om Pori, but he's there. Yeah, he is there. Yeah, he's the there. most iconic nose in Indian cinema, I think. I agree. I can tell that. And that, that voice is kind of iconic, too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, so, so obviously this is going to be 100 cents one of you. You've all seen this film. Uh, so if you haven't watched it, we saw it on Netflix. You can go watch it there and then yep. come back if you don't want to be spoiled. If you haven't seen it yet, but if you're Indian, you've probably seen this film. Yeah. Uh, Rick, your initial thoughts of Dawn. Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> but the second Dawn that yeah, we've seen. The second Dawn that we've seen, but not the second Dawn of the SRK Dawns. Yes. Uh, uh, eh. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, so I'm either, I'm either one of three things. Mm -hmm. I'm in, I'll pass, or I'm out. For this one, it was like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll pass. Uh, I mean, I didn't, I, I, I didn't I hate it. Pass, I would say more of a one-time watch. Wouldn't yeah, that be a better? I think it's one of those things that you should watch to here's the reasons I think you should watch it. Indian cinema history. Yeah. SRK history. Yeah. Priyanka history. Yeah. Early 2000s history. Yeah. But other than that, there wasn't much that it did and I much prefer the original one. Yeah, I I'm kind of the same way. This one it uh didn't hit the same as even though obviously it's a newer film and they're both dated, yeah. But that the the original uh, Big B dated is a lot more charming and fun. Agreed. Uh, this one just felt like oh, this is how films were in the early two thousands or the, yeah. the late nineties, yeah. And it feels very dated. Um, and so and I like I said I don't think it's maybe if you saw it like right when it came out. And obviously, it's it's all new, and yeah. like, it's it's different. But obviously, now in twenty twenty two, it just it was it was fine. It was and I, I, and would... I think I think if I had never like I think if someone had never seen Big B's version, you might have a you might like it even more because there was so much that I thought. I mean, there were many times where I thought, "Why would you change that?" Yeah, it worked the first time, and it doesn't work this time. Yeah, that happened quite a bit for me. Well, they did change uh, some things, up, yeah. obviously. Uh, yeah, wise, and I, I didn't, I didn't mind that. But yeah, uh, we can get into it uh, now. But yeah, the um, I thought it was a, f a, f a fine. I thought it was fine. I'll probably never watch this Dawn again. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward because I've heard a lot of good things about Dawn Two in yeah. terms of obviously. Th this also has a downside. Obviously, since it's like almost a strict remake. 
I know it's coming, kind of similar right. to Jersey, even though I appreciate a lot more filmmaking in the Hindi version of Jersey. Than even the... though they did try to do some things in here that weren't done. Uh -huh. But like some of the things that they didn't replicate for me, I didn't know, why didn't you? So like, I liked, I liked the franchise creating ending. Yeah. I liked that the twist. The fact that it was always Dawn. That it was always Dawn. I liked that twist, even though... Like many of the things in here, the, the, the believability factor in the story, as well as just spoken exposition, motivations that make no sense whatsoever. Yeah, but you knew that was coming, right? I, I did. Yeah. I did. But even though I knew it was coming, it yeah. was still, okay, really? Um, th I, liked, I liked the franchise creating twist. Mm -hmm. uh, but for a scene as... It's iconic now, but I would imagine it was pretty amazing prior. Mm. The fighting for the disc moment was pretty anticlimactic yeah. comparatively. Yeah, and there wasn't a ton of... Maybe it's because... Was this Farhan's first directorial debut? Don't know. Um, where was it? No, he was in. Which, by the way, on the technical side of things, I don't, I don't have a problem with the direction. Mm -hmm. And the cinematography, in fact, there were a couple of things where I saw some nice shots. There were only one or two minor mistakes in the stunt work being m missed in the fight sequences. Mm -hmm. um, no, it wasn't his direct. He did and again, I've watched, this is where it's like, I'm not out. This is his third. Yeah, that, that's why I wouldn't say, I don't think passes. Yeah, right. for me. I think for it's me, a one time. For me, I'll pass is one. It's that's synonymous with one and done. Yeah, and I wouldn't rec. Like for me, it's like if someone said to me, "Should I watch the SRK Dawn?" Well, that, that My, would also depend on the second one. It, it it does. It depends on the second one. But since we have we don't know anything about the second one, my feeling right now would be, you might like it. I I didn't really. It was kind of like I mean I didn't dislike it, but I didn't like it. I was kind of like okay. Uh, I'm not upset that I watched it, but I'm not going to watch it again. And you may like it, but I don't. I I didn't particularly. This is his third director. So he did Dilchat the High, Laksha, and then Dawn, uh, in in that order. Um, I I don't have any. I thought the directing was actually fine. Yeah, it was just direction and cinematography. I thought was fine. I think I wouldn't have minded it because obviously they're not going to get the quirkiness of the 70s. Oh, no and, and way. They, 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 there's no way you're going to get that. But I was hoping for at least better action. Um, Shah Rukh Khan, even though I think Shah Rukh Khan is great at many things, doesn't have the same aura about him as a, as Big B does in terms of no, intimidation and, and that kind of stuff. And he also is not Tiger Shroff. So yeah. trying to put him in an action thing where he's doing stuff where he's doing martial arts, um, it's a stretch. Yeah, it's, it, it was it was definitely different. Um, not that I, I think he should have tried to be Big B because I don't. No, of it's, course. It's, it's a diff you're a different kind of actor. Absolutely. SRK Even does a that, incarnation. that Big B could never do. Of course. Uh, Which I appreciated that. I felt like he was trying to make it his own character. Um, I think the biggest... I'm, I don't even know what the biggest flaw in this film would be. I think it's more of just... The, it felt so dated in all aspects. In like, a different way. In than a different way than the original that does. Correct. The original was like, oh, this is fun. In a lovely way. Dated, correct, quirky, stupid. I love it, and I love this style. This was just like, it just feels like an old film. It should, even though it was made a lot sooner than that one, that one has a lot more but, charm to it. I would say because there really wasn't anything that like I have watched movies before and been and been like thought to myself, this is brutal. I want to stick forks in my eyes. So I've I've had that. Yeah. This it was nowhere that. near no. that. The only, like, my big gripe, and if you take this away, I wouldn't have a lot to gripe about, but I don't have a lot to jump up and down about. For me, it's the, the a lot of the writing, a lot of the, some of the changes that were done that I didn't think worked, some of the exposition that was spoken that made no sense, people you could easily kill, but you don't, you do this, the, the, the stereotypical, I'm going to tell you why I'm going to kill you before I kill you, um, a lot of that stuff. You have just to do that in a spy movie, especially. Since you do. It's a I understand spy movie. that, but they did it so, and there were so many moments that yeah. someone could have died yeah. and just wasn't killed, and you had the opportunity to kill them. Also, did I miss something? Uh, and I, I, they may have written it out, but one of the things I liked in the original Don was how Roma mm -hmm. waited to kill him before he got his memory back, and I don't remember her remember her saying anything about that at all when he was in his state of well, not remembering anything. Yeah, he kind of flipped the remembering pretty fast in this one as opposed to... And I was like, I wanted... I mean, they 
foreshadowed it at the beginning of the film because the first time you see Roma in this one with Priyanka, she's doing martial arts. So I'm like, ah, Wonder Woman can't wait for the disc scene. She's nowhere to be found. Yeah. Like she never has the Wonder Woman moment that that character has, which is one of my favorite things about the original Dawn. It's yeah. like, how did you not include the empowered woman aspect of this that was in the movie that preceded you 30 years ago? Yeah. I really missed that. Uh, yeah, same. It, so it was just a lot of, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. This is not a bad film. I wouldn't say it's a bad film. It's just, I, I agree. I, I wouldn't maybe, call it a bad I was bad just more maybe underwhelmed. Underwhelmed. Yeah, I was for me like, it was just like eh, I was okay. I was hoping for either a little more cork or a little more action, fun action, or and maybe we'll get in the second one. I feel like I've said I've heard a lot of good stuff about the second one, and we'll get to that one obviously next, and then we'll be able to tell yeah. you if I needed to see this first Dawn or if I could have just skipped this one, gone straight to Dawn two, blah blah blah. Who knows? Obviously we'll know in less than a week probably. But uh, I do want to talk. I thought Bowman Arani actually did a really good. Film. I did too. It's actually one of my favorite roles of his. Yeah, I, th I thought of. Everybody that was in there. I think they there, could have utilized him a little better. But. I think they could have utilized him a lot. And forgive me for not knowing our actor's name who played. Oh, I'll blow I, it up here. I did appreciate. <laughs> I did appreciate the fact that the limp went away, <laughs> just like it did in the original one. I was like, I'm assuming you're going to make the limp go away because that's that's like a tip of the cap. You have to. You have to. And I thought he. It was very strange because I felt like he, he looked and like Bowman, John Abraham a little bit. Didn't he, he did look like John Abraham in quite a bit a few Arjun times. Arjun Ram Paul, I think is his name. Yes, but. I gotta say, oh, he's in like, country, it's, well. it's almost like he wasn't at the table read or at the rehearsals because his approach to the character of the story was far more serious than everybody else. Mm -hmm. He, I felt like he approached it like a legit drama. Yeah. I'm like, this this guy's like, did this guy get the notes that this isn't this? I mean, he's doing a great <laughs> job. And I felt the same way for like a lot of the times with Bowman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he, he was he was bringing some thespianatic well, heaviness to it I don't think you can tell Bowman. Oh, I'll tell you, I, mean, I guess you can because Three Idiots, I had a big problem with Bowman. Uh, oh, he could. <laughs> yes. He could he turn off that switch. That's for sure. He sure can. Uh, is Cyrus or whatever his stupid name was in Three Idiots. What was it? Silas or Cyrus? That's Cyrus. a good question. Now that you've is, said both names. It was one of them. Yeah. I just had such a such an issue with that. Maybe I need to watch that film again. I don't know. Uh, but I actually enjoyed his performance. Yeah, I did Because I was like, he's he's doing he's knocking it out of the park as, as I would, as expect, you would expect. And I uh, I don't know if he'll be back in the second one. I, I I kind of actually hope he is. They set that up they pretty did. well. I'm hoping um, for more action. I thought Shah Rukh Khan did well. Uh, it was just it was a very different um, take, which is good. I didn't want him to try to be Big B at all. Um, but no. it, it was just it was almost jarring at times because he was trying to be romance. Uh, SRK at times. Yeah. And <laughs> it's like, you just can't hide it, can you? You push Shah Rukh Khan through and through. Exactly. <laughs> and I think also he didn't want to go like the real Dawn darkness because mm -hmm. he didn't want the character to be negative. I think the, the main thing is this this guy's got to be kind of the anti hero so that when this franchise comes out, you're rooting for him the whole time. And I think that was probably one of the reasons. And I don't know whose idea it was to do this. If it was Farhan's, if it was SRK's, if it was both of them. But my suspicion was that they were uniform in their desire to make this character like the SRK that everybody knows and loves with a little bad boy in him. Yeah. Just a little. Yeah. And that's what. You got it, and I, th I, I actually, and I'm wondering if you're going to get more in the second, since we know that it's Dawn now, right? And we know that he is the bad guy, which justifies his. I mean, there's so many stuff that I was willing to throw out. It's like yeah, when yeah, he's yeah, full on yeah. martial artist and knows how to handle the weapons. I'm like, yeah, VJ learned that in two hours. <laughs> yeah. But that, even yeah. if it had been that, I was like, okay, you get a pass. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, just yeah. A, it's a dumb entertainer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's why, like, I, I felt like. There wasn't anybody that did an outstanding job. Everybody did a good Fuck, job. Yeah. And there's nothing to point at and go, well, that's a blaring problem. That's a blaring problem. The only blaring problem I had was in the writing. Mm. And even that, like I said, if someone said, did you like Don? My response is going to be, eh. I mean, there were parts that I like. It yeah. moved. I, I, did, I wasn't watching it, waiting for it to end. I'm I, actually... I, I, I was mostly having an okay time while I watch. As opposed to like films where we'd see something and there's a sequel and we're like, oh, I don't right. want to go. Well, like, I'm actually what? excited for no, Dawn 2. No, exactly. I'm, like, I'm, why would you do that? I get it. I'm looking forward to Dawn 2. Me too. One, especially since I don't know what's going to happen now. 
This one, I, I was like, this is a strict remake. I yeah. can tell I can tell the steps you're making. It was fun to kind of see the like the little variants they took on. Oh, they're doing this scene now. They're doing this thing. Oh, they're doing right. this song now. Right. Which actually, all the songs I thought they did well. Yeah, uh, I did we, too. We, we reacted to one of the, or I think, none none of them were none of them were like you know knock down drag out incredible but um, they were fine that's have Karina and I enjoyed dancing, them obviously, yeah I really liked I, I really liked Karina having to fill those pretty big shoes I actually to wish fill we got to see a little more of her in the beginning. I did too I, w- I wanted to see a little and also yeah, I, I wanted w- more I, Priyanka I wanted more violence yeah I wanted more I like like I said I wanted Priyanka to be Wonder Woman like Roma is in the original it might just be because obviously since it was early 2000s right where we're projecting what action films are now true onto an action film, which I don't think the best time for cinema was late '90s to early 2000s, anywhere. Anywhere. I mean, there's obviously there's gems that have come out in in that time, but especially in terms of like action films. Yeah. Even Matrix. If you go back and watch Matrix, you're gonna see a very dated Matrix that was revolutionary. Yeah. Uh, when it first came. Agreed. out. Agreed. But you watch it now, you're like, huh. <laughs> and I also, this was good. <laughs> and I really do wonder. I, I wonder how many revisions they made on the story and the script because. They may have had the conversation that said, you know, while he was conceptualizing it and creating the story, he very well may have said, you know, as as iconic as that ending is, everyone's expecting it, so we're going to give him a twist. And I'm concerned that if we have Priyanka doing a lot of action, SRK fans are going to be like, why aren't we seeing SRK? Mm -hmm. Why aren't we seeing SRK? We, I mean, we like Priyanka, but she's new. Why isn't SRK getting the screen time fight? Yeah. Uh, So, I, I, okay. So I'm... uh so it looks like Dawn Two came out in 2011. So that's a that's a decent gap. A good what so they, five years? They made six years Dawn after? probably in what 2005, 2005 or six. And, so, and then obviously yeah. editing and everything took took some time. And so that's they. I'm I'm hoping at least had more money because yeah. obviously this was a success at the time. Shah yeah. Khan is a bigger star at this time, <laughs> right? Uh, and I don't know who came back for the cast. So I think you could one now that we know the kind of style to expect, right? I'm just hoping for better action, more fun action. Mm-hmm. And we actually, we saw it. Actually, we, we've seen a clip from Dawn 2. We did. We've seen a fight scene that Which we was a loved. Good, that was a good fight scene. Yep. Better than every fight scene in this film. Agreed. <laughs> so. Agreed. Uh, that's, that's cool. Obviously, that was just one and scene. It, and none of the fight scenes were bad. They just were okay. It was like, okay, nice fight scene. Yeah, I wish you were a little more violent. Yeah. I wish you were... Uh, a little more interesting, a little more yeah. creative. Uh, yeah. You know... I, my, I think my synopsis for this would just be dated spy film. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like if I could sum everything up. Yeah, it's just that would that's my like biggest thing is like. And what I think one of the things that really carries it, I think if nobody, so let's say somebody in the world, particularly in America, does not know SRK, does not know Ompori, does not know Bowman, does not know Priyanka, does not know Farhan, and just watched this. I think they'd be have a hard time staying engaged. Mm. The fact, I mean, s- sincerely, these are people, if Bowman's on screen, if Om Pori's on screen, yeah. if SRK's on screen, if Priyanka's on screen, give me my popcorn. Yeah, I'm going to. I'll watch them do whatever they're going to do because yeah. I, I love watching them on screen. So that's a huge factor that causes me to not dislike the film Yeah, because they're in it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I bet at the time, I mean... In the in the history and the trajectory of SRK and no, the evolution, he, he was at peak SRK. But was it, was this possibly promoted as like a different side to SRK because he had been the romance guy and well, now he, he's playing a bit of a darker edged character? No, because at the beginning of his career, he played uh, at least in three films that I know of darker villains or negative characters already. Yeah, but but since I mean, like DDLJ on, yeah, maybe. Yeah, this would be different. Yeah, this I guess would be a little different for and, him. And but also it had uh, Farhan was coming off of two hits. True, and Laksha, and, and you got the brand new, fresh, beautiful Priyanka Chopra. Was this she's, introducing? She's no, but it's it's early. It's early in her. Yeah, career. it's early in her. Cr- Is this her first SRK film? I don't know. Well, it's it's in that possibility. If it's not the first, it's one of the first. So, anyways, anyway, I'm I'm glad we watched it. I am too, uh, and uh, I'm I'm hopeful for uh, Dawn Two. Me too, uh, and I'm looking forward to it. That's that's the review you will get next as we are watching we're Dawn watching Two. Them. We're, we're not going to do what we I'm, did at the beginning of the channel. And <laughs> I'm go. looking forward to Dawn Two because that fight scene was so good, and I think what we have felt is probably true. I think from the get go, the thought was we're going to create a franchise that we can do what we want with. So we're going to tell the original story. We're going to do something new with it. And then it's, 
all bets are off. And I think it's actually a great tie if Farhan ever decides to actually do it, which is obviously the rumor right now, that he's working on a script for Don 3. For Don 3. It's a great time for it. Yeah. Uh, one, Shah Rukh Khan's coming back, but also VFX and where it is and choreography and fights, choreography and all that. You yep. can make a, a, a massive I, film. I would, internationally, it would be wise to finish that script and if SRK is free to start filming so that you could... I, I have a strong sense that Mission Impossible is going to be spectacularly big in the because that's going to be the first film oh. Cruz does after Top Gun Maverick. So there's already Mission Impossible fans. The success of Maverick is going to cause a lot of people to go see it just because they loved Maverick and they want to watch Tom Cruise again. Mm. And it would be really smart. There will be people jumping on that bandwagon, I think, of doing some spy films. I think by that time we'll have a new James Bond. Yeah. So it would be wise if you're going to roll out Don 3, especially, you know, while, while SRK can continue to do action films yeah. the way he can... He's got he's got maybe another decade in him doing those. Yeah, get it done. Anyways, yeah. let us know what you thought about Dawn, the 2006 Charlotte Khan version, and um, let us know. Yeah. What do you do? You prefer Dawn one or do you prefer Dawn two, or do you prefer Don Juan? Del oh, Johnny Depp. Yay. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, let us know if you prefer Don One or Don Two. Don't give any spoilers, please. But, but Thank by you. The time this is out, yeah. I don't know if I've seen it, but uh, I won't be looking at the comments probably for this one. And in case you're wondering, yeah, the fly is still here. Yeah, it is. It's awful. Anyways, let us know down below. <laughs>